Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. And today I want to talk to you about how I get really, really surprising silvery blonde highlights. That's something I would never ever in a million years think that I would be saying. Do excuse how I'm talking, I'm starting to get over a bit of a cold, so if I do sound a bit different on my channel today, I do apologise, but I'm certainly getting there, I have to admit. Um, but it has been a bit of a rough cold, so just to get that one out there. So if there is a bit of a difference, I do apologise. But today we're going to be talking about the change and the colour of having had highlights done. Now, first of all, I've had that done about a week ago and I had them all throughout my head again. And I had, and I say again, I had this done back in July, uh, but about the second week of July, I think it could have been possibly the third week, around that time anyway. And then after I had, about a month later, I had a few more put in the front. But so since I've had everything touched up, it's been quite a while, being we are on the second week of October. So I've had it all put through my hair again. And rather than just having them subtle, I've had real silvery, real almost white highlights put all throughout my hair. So and just to give you a little bit of a insight of how bright my hair is, as you can see as I move my trusty YouTube light. <laughs> it's really, really silvery and it's really, really vibrant. But this is something which I am very, very new to in terms of looking after uh, light and blonde and silvery toned hair. I really, really like it. I find it looks really, really cool. But one thing what I hadn't really prepared myself for was the day I had it done. I really, really loved it. Really, really enjoyed it. Had my hair styled. Uh, looked incredible. Really, really liked it. Now I'd been sold, and I said, I'm saying this sort of hesitantly, just because the product which they said to me to keep the maintenance up, to keep the colour really silvery and really vibrant, I didn't really get on with too well. So I went away and done my own research, and this is the product which I have come across. So it's by Fenola. Now I have read an awful lot about this online, and the effects are incredible. And I thought, well, I need to have a look at this. This is what they. Uh, washed, I'd say, any yellowy sort of brassy tones away in my hair and really brought me up to a really white, silvery colour. This stuff is absolutely incredible. And I thought, this is what they're using. Why didn't they suggest this to me um, when I had my hair highlighted? Why didn't they suggest selling this to me? I went away and I bought this on Amazon. So this here is a, is a litre container. A litre container, this will probably, I use this once a fortnight, once every 10 days, and you don't need a lot of it. It is the most richest purple pigment, but it's almost so rich in colour, it's almost like blue. It is absolutely incredible, it's really strong, it's got a very nice smell, I have to admit. For me, it smells a little bit like honey, and I really, really like that smell. It smells, of course, like a hair product, but it's got a really nice smell and tone in here. Um... It's an incredible product. That's all you need to say really about it. The reviews on it online are incredible. It literally has the power to really almost color and tone lightened hair. And I know this because I had a bit of a mishap with it, but we will get to that in just a moment. But how much did I pay for this? I was told this was very, very expensive, but as a flash offer on Amazon, I bought a liter of this stuff for just over 10 pounds. I know, pretty incredible. So I would urge you shop around for this because the price difference and variance is just incredible. Um, it really, really is. You can get some huge bargains on this and this will just last and last and last you, to be honest, whether for men's hair or for women's hair, but an incredible product. So just read you a little bit about it on the back here. So no yellow shampoo, ideal for grey, super highlighted or decoloured hair. It's violet pigment, tones down unwanted yellow hues on grey, light blonde or streaked hair use apply on wet hair massage and leave on for one to five minutes rinse and lather repeat if necessary now this now a couple of the other purple shampoos i've tried to just keep my hair really silvery and the highlights really really blonde and real super light almost like white when i first originally had it done i was asked if i wanted my hair on the warm side of things blonde highlighted or if i wanted it silver or sort of like that real platinum white tone i'm just going to grab my light again because as you can see the room i'm in it can a little bit darker so you can't necessarily see it but as you can see forgive the cable here i've just seen and forgive my shadow you can see especially how the style i've got today it's super super light and really really metallic really really silvery now i had this done what are we just under a week ago now this product here is an absolute life changer in keeping that real silvery hue up because i noticed that having this silver 
The silver sort of element washes out quite quickly, within days, but of course you're left with a real ultra blonde array of highlights, which is really, really nice, and I like that. But sometimes when it comes to a natural sort of blonding process, and I say that it starts to take on a bit more of a natural, not yellow, but you can see it's a bit more of a natural blonde colour, rather than the white silvery tones I had. And sometimes I like that. I've had this hair colour now for a couple of months. This is the brightest I've ever had it. Look, doesn't look so bright, does it? But like I've just showed you in the light, it's super, super black. Black. <laughs> bright. So keeping it, it takes a lot of moisture, a lot of time. Um, condition is absolutely key. So conditioner, conditioner, conditioner. And this product, I cannot recommend enough just because literally five minutes is enough and you get rid of those yellowy tones, you get rid of that brassiness and you're left with a real super, real lovely silvery colour. Now I thought I'd be clever one evening and I thought that my hair needed a bit more of adjusting, I wanted that silver tone. I think I was going to be seeing, um, I think it was some family, or I can't quite remember now, in a couple of days, um, the following day, or I think the day after, and I thought I had some time, I thought I was just going in the shower, I thought, um, let's, let's put this on, and I thought, actually, um, we were just having dinner, I thought, I know, I'll be clever, and I put it in my hair, and I left it, and I had dinner for about half an hour, then I went back upstairs, and I washed this out, the white parts of my hair turned like a violety light purple, and I kid you not, it stained my hair or the lighter bits of my hair for a good three days but the nicest thing with this is the first day when you use this and now I learned from my mistake I only need this on for maximum five minutes maximum five minutes because it literally brings the hair right up to white if you've got now I'm, I'm gonna say if you've got sort of like a real warmy blonde it's gonna be different but because I had my hair highlighted to the point of being almost white or really really super light blonde in places you are not going to leave, need to leave this on for very long at all, at all. If it's dark or you've got a more natural tone of blonde, then I think you probably be a little, you could be a little bit more reassured that it's not going to turn you straight purple, to be quite honest with you. But five minutes, and I'm sure you get a real fresh, um, real cool, um, icy blonde tone, which is what I wanted and what I know a lot of people, men and women, really, really love. Um, and I think it looks really modern, really cool, youthful, trendy, perfect for the summer. And as we're moving into the four months now, into the autumn season, it's really nice because it's that fresh take on everything as well. And the hair looks super cool. And that's what I like. And especially when I've got my pompadour styles, like what I've got today, I really like that super volume, the lightness, the brightness, mix up products like this and hairspray it gets a little bit dry so what I would say just always make sure that you come back in on your hair after this and that's just to close the hair cuticles and make sure you've got the utmost condition in your hair use conditioner 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 and then afterwards when I go to use heat I use a little bit of oil in my hands it doesn't necessarily matter what oil it could just be a heat defense spray it could just be I don't know like a L'Oreal sort of pre-treatment uh, oil it could be a little bit of argan oil could be one of many things but just make sure you keep up on top of that condition because keeping a color like this is quite difficult and quite high, ma high maintenance and i always say if you've got the ideal color that's fantastic but if you haven't got that condition there in your hair you've lost already to be quite honest with you because the hair quality to shine and have that real nice luster about it it has to be healthy and i've learned that through my hair as well so you really do have to keep on condition but this product i love because use this once and then you get a real silvery color of course you're not going to use this every day at all it's not designed for that at all i don't believe so you get a real silvery color then the following day you get a real nice bright after bearing in mind that you've shampooed your hair you get a real nice bright blonde then the next day it tones down a little bit but you get a real nice icy tone so then time you've had about five six days of washing your hair and conditioning your hair daily you're back to that sort of natural cool blonde. I want to say it doesn't come back in yellow like that very quickly at all with this. Of course, that's natural, isn't it? It's all down to how natural um, and down to your chemical makeup of your hair, how quickly it throws yellow tones back in there. But for me, I'm quite fortunate. It doesn't do that very often. But you do not need to use this no more than a, once a week, I would say. No more than that at all. If you were going for purple hair in, in white hair, then amazing. Then use it more often. But Flanola no yellow shampoo is absolutely amazing i don't know too much about this it's got ph5 then it's got a line here five two so i imagine is that is that the, the sort of the the naturalness on the hair is that how soft it is on the hair um i will i'm, I'm a novice at all of this i have to admit um but i really really like this if i find a product what i do on my channel is i shout about it 
And I just think that if somebody can share a good experience about a product, then they're going to use it. They're going to have a great experience. They're going to tell somebody else about it. So that's what this is all about. But if you've got blonde or highlighted hair, this product is absolutely amazing. I know it's professional. It says professional use here on the back. But if we can find a trick and you, everybody can have kind of the hair they want, wouldn't that be amazing? So why would you just want to keep this for in a professional hairdressers or wherever you go to get your hair styled or highlighted or, or what have you? On Amazon, £10. I still find that hard to believe now as well. And how much I pay to have it done and to walk out the hairdressers with the colour, real silvery tones. So you can do it yourself. It may even prolong those um, those visits to the hairdressers that little bit longer. I know for me, for example, um, I like that root regrowth when it comes back through. I'll just grab my light again so I can show you. When that root regrowth comes back through in my hairline, I really, really like that. And I like the silveriness towards the end of my hair, which I just find really sort of takes the style off what I've got today. Really, really nice, really, really cool. Um, but coming to a closure on this one, price fantastic, quality on this absolutely fantastic. I would certainly, certainly recommend it. Have a look online. All the reviews for Fanola No Yellow Shampoo is incredible. Some people have even with white hair have even kind of dyed their hair that sort of violety tone as well, which looks super, super cool. And I think on men and women, just looks really youthful, really, really modern. And of course, remember, condition is key. So it's great having that colour. Just make sure you go back in and charge up with the conditioner and perhaps your oils or heat protectants is an absolute must. But condition, condition, condition for good blonde looking hair okay thanks very much indeed for watching my clip this i have certainly enjoyed flanola is absolutely a super super product which i really, really like when i chatted to a couple of people in my family who have had blonde in the past and who are blonde now i'm really really sort of telling them about that but i have to admit a couple of them it's strange to find that they don't actually even use um a purple shampoo or a, or a toning shampoo which I find to keep that real nice super cool blonde look um, I know it's different for everybody but to keep that super cool blonde look is quite important and I've realized that because even literally just after a couple of days from having it done the color is already on the change and I notice I get a streak of hair through here which is quite yellow comes back through quite yellow so what this is really good about as well is if you put a little bit in your hand and I would recommend using gloves with this because it's super super strong super strong um, and what I do is I put this on dry on the parts which are super yellow where my hair's got no product in after five minutes wash it out and then shampoo my hair normally it gets rid of that yellowy tone so you can pick and choose what parts of your hair need boosting up as well which I really love about this because other purple shampoos which I've tried they're not half as strong they're a little bit gimmicky they're good, of course they're good, but when you use a professional product such as Fanola, Fanola, it really, really does show. And this one is just super, super incredible. So I'd absolutely recommend that. And shop around. I'll be open. I paid just over £10 for that. And in a, um, a professional sort of hair, uh, hairdressers or barbers or salon or sort of real up market place where you'd have your hair done, you could imagine paying so much more for that. So absolutely, my biggest top tip there. Condition and shop around okay thanks very much indeed for watching this clip i really really have very much enjoyed this one i love using this product it really brings my hair back to those real silvery tones hope you like how i've got it today love extreme volume going on at the moment and just show you for the last time that real super sort of metallic silvery look i really really do like and it will be something which I will probably be having into sort of the winter season the festive season and we will see how it goes i probably won't have it sort of real touched up to the roots. I do like that root regrowth, but then of course when it gets too much, after about two months, three months, I imagine it would be quite nice then to get everything touched up and freshened up as well. Okay, thanks very much indeed for watching this one. For the last time, I've said that about five times now, haven't I? Until next time, look after yourself, stay safe, and give it a try, why not? We'll see you then. Bye for now.